some days it's just what I want. Blowjob from your mom. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, I'm Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This is Playin' Tosh, my wonderful co-host, who keeps me alive most of the time. No, he doesn't, his he's doing a terrible job. A what? And this is uh, <laughs> Project what? Zomboid on a Tuesday. Um, we're gonna try and do some basely things. I guess I'll go chop some trees down with my baseball bat. And we'll see if we can at least finish this wall. That is the goal for the episode, is to get this wall finished. Plantosh would like to level some carpentry. I don't care about leveling stuff, because I know I'm probably going to die again. Like, if you let the illusion of staying alive go, <laughs> this game becomes a lot more fun. <laughs> so, uh, let's let's go ahead and hop into it, guys. We've got to have some fun. Oh, look at this shit. Oh, man. This is hard work. It really is. I think it's twice as hard because I'm using a bat. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> oh, we tap both the sinks, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, you just, you gotta drink less, dude. You're like, you're a drink machine. Thirsty? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a thirsty man, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I know we had problems with alcohol before the apocalypse started, but... Look, we're not gonna talk about my days in the <laughs> Navy. It doesn't need to be brought up at all. <laughs> We had our talks. Just reopening, reopening old wounds there, playing Tosh. <laughs> it's a joke, I think, mostly. <laughs> fuck. Uh, fuck. Fuck. Peanut butter pancakes, I'm trying to find fuck. the stuff to fix the axe. Yeah, we probably... So I don't think we have that. I just need some adhesive tape and some wood glue. Good luck. <laughs> I don't think we have it all. I don't know. Sure we do. But I do recall there was a bunch of these things in the mall in the home home do it yourself section. Yeah, cuz I grabbed like a shit ton of them. Home Depot. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Got the duct tape, got the adhesive tape. Need uh, one more glue and two more wood glue. Nice. I never saw wood glue in our crates, so I don't know. That's why I was skeptical. Yeah. Found it. Nice. So, uh, just repair this axe, I guess. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's not, it's not all of those things. Oh. It's fucking... What? Like, for each, uh, like, say you have two wood glue... That potentially repairs 50% oh, of the nice. axe. That's cool. Two duct tape repairs 20%. Yeah, so it's not... Nice. That is actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so let's try this two wood glue shit. Do it! Oh, I can't. It needs carpentry. Two carpentry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you need carpentry for fucking everything it's so cruel that's what I'm saying we can't go anywhere this episode we need to stay here and we need to fucking work on ourselves cause we <laughs> I totally... hate working on myself <laughs> but we have to we totally overlooked that for the past I don't know how many episodes yeah and it's a crucial part of the game we're gonna we're gonna die if we don't do that self improvement <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody got time for that, bro, bro, bro. Um, I'm serious. We really need to do that. Well, now I have an axe, so I can come and help, kind of do things. I'm grabbing some planks. I'm gonna go barricade some more windows. Yeah, make them planks. I don't know how many. Chop planks. them lob. Alright, I got six planks on me. That should be good. Um, Attract I, them zombies. I did put some nails here on the ground. Where are they? There they are. They're over there. Yeah, I saw them. Alright, tree, you're fucking dead. 
It takes just one nail? That's weird. Nice. That's like the I most... I guess you nail it through the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's nothing. <laughs> it, like, holds it up. <laughs> Physics! <laughs> and I thought I am blonde. I really hate how you can't, like, put too much stuff on the ground. There's like, oh, there's too many logs here. Well, they're... No, there's not! They're pretty big if you, like, look at the walls. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're, like, fucking huge-tastic. <laughs> <laughs> are you reading books? Or just nailing walls? I'm nailing... I don't need to read books. I, I still have three three multipliers, so... Oh, cool. That's, like, the maximum, anyway. How did you know it was the maximum? Because I read the wiki. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> I know you don't like reading. <laughs> For games, like, no. I always, I always, like... For the escapists, it, it took me five hours to figure... Start figuring things out. Yeah. And, like, I wasted a bunch of time buying crafting notes because I don't always want to just go straight to the wikis. Like, I want to be confused like I was back before the internet, you know what I mean? And just be like, how the fuck do you figure this out? And don't resort to, like, yeah, I know oh, now mean. I have to go look it up. I, it's, it's like, this game is so complex, it would be really difficult to just figure everything out on your own. Yeah. At, At least, least, like, like in my opinion. opinion. Well, yeah, compared to, like, how it started to now when we actually started looking things up, it's quite different. Yeah. Like, there's still there's still water in the toilets. Yeah, that's what I was going to say next. Uh, I'm filling the... You can drink from the toilets, but... I just did. It's not advisable. Don't do it. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> You'll die of dysentery! <laughs> no! You change your name from Plantosh to Dysentery Gary. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's a Blink-182 song. I don't remember that one. It's one of my favorites. I do remember the song called Fuck a Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I posted the Blowjob song on my Twitter a couple days ago. I was just like, Blink-182's lyrics are so deep. Like, they take what's on my mind, and they just make a song about it. <laughs> and then you play the song, and it's like, It would be nice to have a blowjob from your mom. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it's, like, so juvenile, but it's exactly what yeah. I want. Some days, it's just what I want. Blowjob from your mom. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're fucking awesome lumberjacks. <laughs> <laughs> when I put my mind to it, I can do some fine lumberjack, and let me tell you. Yeah. I got this gigantic fucking duffel bag that apparently two of those humongous logs can fit into. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, that's... That's fucking... I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. That's like... Wow. <laughs> Dude, my big bag of shit is like... <laughs> It's like a uh, Mary Poppins bag, you know? Do you have a black hole in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I, I became super overweight. I wanted it to stop, but it didn't stop. It's like, what the fuck? And then they're going to call you Fatty Fatty 2 by 4 camping through the kitchen door. What? And that's not <laughs> nice. Like, overweight people still have feelings. Oh, they, like, no, feeling they hungry. They put it um, under their... They do! Mostly it's just feeling hungry, but that's a feeling. <laughs> Freaking fat agenda. <laughs> <laughs> you have to accept everyone, even if they overflow on the fucking airplane onto your seat, and you have to sleep under their sweaty folds. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even. Mm -mm. Uh, it just makes me so upset. Um, I'm not gonna say anything to this. I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting super tired of the like. I don't know. It just keeps on 
like pushing and pushing. I keep on reading these article articles that are just praising fat people, <laughs> and it's just like, oh, this some someone shamed this fat chick on Instagram for being fat, and look at her reaction. Oh my God, that's so brave. <laughs> She stood up to her and blah blah blah, and I'm like, oh wow. god, just lose some weight. It's not healthy. You're gonna die in like your thirties. You're not allowed to say that, Plantosh. That's hateful. I, That's hate speech. I and they're gonna care. come and get you and take you away in the I night. Don't care. <laughs> if my viewers are one of these people that tend to just praise the fat and praise the fat people <laughs> and say that. They have like their rights and bullshit like that, and that being fat is okay. It's not okay. Just don't be fat. It's not healthy. No, they do have their rights. They're still people, but it's not healthy. It's so not healthy. So you all. need to be informed of the risks. And you're right. It's dangerous that people are just like, oh no, it's totally even even worse than accepted. It's like, yeah, you're right. Praised and like. It's just fucked up. It's really weird. What a fucking strange society we live in. I can't even, like... Well, look, we've grown a lot, okay? We've learned. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're, we're better people now. Did you even see the previous episode, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> look, it's been almost a week since then. Uh. Oh, God. In my case... Since then? In my case, it was just I've two come days. into my own. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depends whose channel you're watching it on, I guess. I'm sorry, guys. I d didn't really plan on releasing that that late. <laughs> Shit, Dude, time. Shit happens. It's a tricky motherfucker. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> it's, it's, e it's unfair evil. is what it is. It's fucking evil. It's not evil. It's impartial as fuck. <laughs> I think this is a really good but idea. But in a way, it is kind of evil. This is a really good idea, putting our, yeah, our it corpses is. in the small house. Totally. That way we don't see, like, anything. A bunch of shit everywhere. Yeah. There's still a lot of blood, but whatever. <laughs> I think it should be... We could deal with blood. Yeah. You should be able to clean that, I think. Or at least I heard. Ooh. I flock. With like a... Get it? Because you said I heard, and then... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, it's horrible. Stop. Just... <laughs> You're smoking way too much pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at it. Everybody look at it. It's done. Yay! <laughs> the wall is completed. This is amazing. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, there's zombies behind the wall. I heard a... Good. Wow. I finished it in time. <laughs> 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 wow. This is awesome. Oh, it's starting raining. Go inside. No. I catch a cold, bitch. I'm, I'm dehydrated. I need to stand out here. Uh. <laughs> I need to eat some Just shit. Just have it absorbed through my skin. So, friends, Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and Mr. Plantosh have completed the base wall! <gasps> That's a good feel, right? Yes. Um, I didn't level up any skills or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> I, I got what I got, and... Oh, I did level up maintenance a little bit, but it's not... No. <laughs> I I hope to improve a little bit more and not die, but again, I'm not super hopeful about that. <laughs> Just kind of glad we're completing some stuff. We really need the rain collectors badly because we're running out of water in the warehouse space, so we might have to get some empty bottles and uh, make a little trip somewhere so we don't die. Yeah. Or, or come up with a new plan because, <laughs> uh, yeah... The situation is getting dire, but I still got a smile on, so don't you worry. Uh, do check out Plantosh's video as well, because he offers a different point of view. And if you did enjoy the video, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Would you like to say anything to the subscribers, Plantosh? Just keep on watching, it's getting better and better, I think, or I believe, and uh, we're gonna keep on surprising you. <laughs> Yay! Much surprise, so better. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, friends. Bye-bye!
Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.